YouTube! What's good guys? It's your boy TD and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports. And today's video is, do you think the Rams made the right decision by trading golf for Matthew Stafford? Yes, I said it. Do you think the Los Angeles Rams made the right decision by trading golf for Matthew Stafford? So, let me break this down. And this video, guys, is not going to be super long. But I thought I needed to do a video on this because a lot of people feel like that Sean McVay isn't taking responsibility for trading uh for trading golf. Like, like he had some part to do with golf like playing worse than he played his first two years when he got the deal, right? Um Yes, Matt, yeah, Sean McVay, you do got something you got you it's Yes, you got some blame in this, bro, bro. You do. But sometimes you get tired of babying players. He just didn't feel that golf could ever go and win him a game if they were down by 21 points, 17 points. He thought he would have to draw up perfect plays, play action plays, and in a great game plan with a solid defense every single time they play. He, want, he, he wants a guy that. Oh, we down 21, something happened, some turnovers on special teams. They up on the 17 points. A guy that he can put five wide out there. And, you know, and he can draw up, still draw up the plays, but can go win him a game without, hey, look at the safety telling him little baby steps every time. You know, that's what Sean McVay did with golf. They would be in his ear. He's like, look at the safety. Oh, look for, look for Woods, look for Woods. And then he, it would go out. And he got tired of doing it. With Matthew Stafford, he's a veteran. He knows systems. He had a bunch of different offensive coordinators. He can play in the West Coast. And Matthew Stafford might have a chance to win an MVP. I said what I said. Matthew Stafford might have a chance to win an MVP because it's still fact. MVP isn't like the best player. If it was the best player, then Tom Brady would have like eight MVPs. But usually it's the most shock factor. If you can go on a team that needs to get over a hump and you can put that team over the hump and you play, I have a solid season, maybe just 40 touchdowns and 10 picks. They'll give you the MVP. So, Matthew Stafford, you have, you're going to have a chance to get MVP. So, let's get on golf a little bit. I think golf has a really good ball. I think he needs more development in his mind by reading pre-snap and, and staying and being healthy. And that's just him learning the game and getting the ball out fast. I think golf needs to look at Tom Brady. He reminds me of Tom Brady, how long and skinny he is. I think he should mirror his game after Tom. He has a softball. He just need like and when I say a softball, that's a great catchable ball. That's why a lot of people love playing with Tom. But I think he just needs to get his anticipation better. Like before the guy breaks, get it out there. Because you're not athletic. You can't run around and make plays. So you're gonna have to get the ball out of your hands quick and quit taking so many big hits. So you can be healthy for your team. So you gotta watch Tom how Tom plays and stays healthy. That's a that's an art. So golf is not a bad player, but I think it just he needed a new scenery. And I think golf and Stafford needed a new scenery. I think Stafford just feels like Detroit don't know what they want. They don't know what they want to do. They discombobulated. I need to get somewhere. I'm getting old. I'm getting my body's getting beat up. I need to get somewhere where I can win a ring immediately. Golf, Sean McVay don't trust me. He say he does. I know he don't believe in me. The team, since he's been kind of sending me to the team, the team don't believe in me. I'm ready to move on. It is what it is. So I think both of them has a it's gonna have a good new beginning. Um I I think I think golf will won't be bad. I think golf will be really good. I, I think he's gonna learn from this and he's gonna push him to be better and to prove to Sean McVay so he can go on an interview and be like, Yeah, I'm I'm the yes, I'm I, I yeah, they didn't believe in me there. Watch what I'm doing now. So yeah, they they talking about I couldn't evolve that, that, that Sean McVay had to petty cake me and by telling me the, what the play was or what the defense was doing right before the snap. But I'm I showed everybody what I can do. So this might be really good for Jerry Goff. And Matthew Stafford, hey, I still think the Rams need somebody to go downfield, but uh he gonna be able to get the, he gonna be the willing deal with those guys. They got two great tight ends, and I don't I mean great is a heavy word, but they really good. Uh, Gerald Everick and Tyler Higby. Then you got Cooper Cup, a slot king. Then you got Robert Woods that can do it all, run the ball, run great routes, tough block. 
but they need a speed demon. So maybe it's Reynolds or somebody else to help step up, to help stretch the field. But I believe Matthew Stafford is going to be in a good offense. He's going to have a good offensive coordinator and somebody that can that's very dynamic. And so Matthew Stafford should have a chance to win MVP. He has chances. He was in MVP discussions at certain times of the season while he was in Detroit. Um, so, no, he don't have a Megatron. But I don't think – I I think Megatron messed – he didn't spread the ball around enough when he had Megatron. Because who will? I mean, you got a 6'6 guy that runs a 4'3. You're going to be looking for him every play, too. So, guys, I just wanted to give you some context on golf. And I don't think that golf is – he sucked because he doesn't suck. He just needs another opportunity and another fresh start with somebody believing in him. Uh, and Matthew Stafford, just – he's not – his body's not beat up. I mean, yeah, he's took some injury. He's took a lot of injuries lately. But he's a tough guy, and I think he, uh, by him coming to uh, the Rams, it's going to rejuvenate him and give him, make him vibrant, and he's going to be excited about having a chance to win a Super Bowl and the MVP. So, guys, thank you for tuning into this video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, and also, guys, go to the comment section and let me know what you think. Do you think that golf is a good player? Do you think Matthew Stafford is old? Let me know. And also, guys, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I'm going to keep giving you cutting-edge videos like this. Thank you. Have a good day.